Hello, welcome back to Hedgy English, uh, a place where you can listen to English comfortably. Um, I'm wearing headphones today because we are going to watch a cartoon together. We're going to watch Popeye for President, an old cartoon which is now public domain. What is public domain? Public domain is uh, public domain is that you can use it freely. It's um, it's something that anyone can watch, anyone can put on. You don't have to pay for it in America. That is public domain. So let's watch Popeye for president. You might hear the sound of some rain or some lightning because, well, it's rain and lightning time. Um, let's get started, though. Popeye for president. We will watch a bit, then pause, and I will talk. Let's go. Okay, so what do we have so far? We see a background. We see the credits. These are the opening credits. In the credits, you can have the opening credits in the beginning and the closing credits at the end. They show you who made the movie, or in this case, the cartoon. And we start with the, the studio, Paramount Pictures. Picture, a picture, can be another term for a movie. So this is Paramount Pictures, and they make a Paramount picture, a Paramount video. Serious lightning, or thunder. Um, and we see a mountain, a red mountain, clouds on the left and right, and a ring of stars, a ring of stars around the mountain. And then one star zooms in, or one star comes from the top of the mountain, and it's spinning. It's spinning as it comes closer. And then Popeye, Popeye shows up. His head comes out of the star. He is wearing a sailor's hat. Remember a sailor, a man who works on a boat. He is wearing a sailor's hat and smoking a pipe, a pipe. And as he comes out, he, he puffs on the pipe. He goes, whoosh, whoosh, and smoke comes out. He puffs on the pipe. Then the credits. Uh, we see his name, Popeye, the sailor, and different people or companies who were involved in making the cartoon. Um, Technicolor was responsible for doing the color. Another uh, producer, a studio called Famous Studios. And these credits, one credit is fading out and the other credit is fading in. That's how we transition between names. Here we see the director, the animator. Uh, director is usually responsible for making everything work together. Uh, the general idea of it. Animator, they actually do the animation. They draw it and, and stuff like that. Story, uh, the person who writes the script or screenplay. Um, scenics, I should look up. I'm not completely sure what scenics is here. And the music, the composer. And then the title of the cartoon, Popeye for President. And now, let's get started with the actual cartoon don't itself. Forget, folks, when you go to the polls today, a vote for Popeye means free ice cream for all the kiddies. So, uh, he starts off by saying, don't forget when you go to the polls today. 
A vote for Popeye means free ice cream for all the kitties. The polls, that's the place that you vote. The polls, a polling station, that's the place you go to vote in an election when you're electing someone. And so uh, free, if you vote for him, essentially, when you go to the polls, it means free ice cream for all the kitties, for all the children. Um, and uh, it's a promise. He's, he is doing what we call campaigning. He's campaigning. He's trying to get votes. There's a lot of references here. So uh, this is the spinach party. Remember, we have different groups that you vote for. The, the group that you belong to is your party. In America, there's normally the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, the Green Party. And his is the spinach party. Why is it the spinach party? Well, as if you don't know Popeye, he loves spinach. He loves eating spinach. And when he eats spinach, he gets very, very strong. He gets very strong. So it's a joke that's the spinach party. Um, we see a crowd of people who are listening to him standing in front of his little platform. And this kind of, it's a reference to politics in America, uh, older politics, where politicians, the people who did politics, they would go out and promise, promise everything to anyone. Vote for me, I'll give you this. Vote for, for me, I'll give you this. Everything will be different. Of course, someone can argue that still happens today, but... In older times, it was a little bit more obvious, direct. You could see what, uh, you could just see it very easily. So he says, a vote for me uh, means ice cream for all the kitties, for all the children. The polls today, a vote for Popeye means free ice cream for all the kitties. And then he takes his fist and he hits, he hits a table and milk comes out of a jug he hits it so hard milk comes out of a, a pitcher uh, does a little arc and lands in a glass it comes out of a pitcher and lands in a glass he's he's a strong guy we see in his cartoons how strong he is he takes the glass and drinks it his milk and then the camera pans the camera pans, moves to, let's see. All right, men, step right over here and get your free cigars. So this is Bluto. Um, Bluto is Popeye's enemy. He is always competing with him. And here it seems he is competing with him politically. Um, but he that's why his party's name is the Bludocratic. It's a, it's a play on words between Bluto, his name, and Plutocratic. Thunder. And Plutocratic, which uh, is the idea of plutocracy, kind of like democracy, Plutocracy, the idea that people uh, who get rewarded, who deserve it, who, who work hard, who, the people who get something in, a, in this political system are the people who work for it, um, like uh, meritocracy. Uh, so the camera pans over, we see Bluto, and he is holding cigars, like cigars, the things you smoke. And he promises cigars to the men. Men step right over here. Men step right over here. That means come over here. Step right over here. And get your free cigars. Get your free cigars. The crowd rushes over. They come over. It looks like they're all men. And he starts throwing cigars. Throwing cigars to the audience. And they're cheering, like, yeah, yeah, they're cheering. And what we need is bigger elephants in all our zoos. 
Now we cut back. So first we panned to Pluto. Now we cut. A cut is when the camera jumps. We cut back to Popeye, and he is still making promises. Uh, we're zoomed in. We're close to Popeye. We're zoomed in on Popeye. And then we zoom out, and we see the crowd is gone. All that's left is one dog listening to him. It's empty. And he said, we need, uh, what we need is bigger elephants in all the zoos. Elephant, the animal with a long nose. And he, again, the promises, it's kind of a joke, like the promises he's making are silly. Um, they're not real help. And nobody's listening to him anymore anyway. Is bigger elephants in all our zoos. Bigger elephants in all our zoos. Oh my gosh. Instead of God, it sounds like Garsh. He notices, he notices, he sees that there's no one left. He, then he notices, he sees, uh, Bluto is there. Bluto, what happened? And he gets angry and his pipe moves. It's, it makes a weird noise. It's, it's, uh... Yeah, it shows how angry he is. Now just remember your old pal Bluto at the polls today, fellas. Now Bluto says, just remember your old pal, your old friend Bluto, him, at the polls today. Remember the polls, the place where you vote for a candidate. For a a candidate is a person who is trying to become a politician. You vote for a candidate. So remember Bluto at the polls today. Uh, and then we see Popeye run up behind some men who are smoking cigarette or cigars. The cigars are in their mouth. And uh, he grabs the sidewalk, the sidewalk underneath the men and does what? So he grabs the sidewalk. He, because he, remember, he's very strong. He lifts the sidewalk. He lifts all the people on the sidewalk. He lifts them and he drags them away. He drags them away. Bluto is still talking. Bluto is still talking and another cigar, an extra cigar for every vote. But Popeye, while Bluto is talking, Popeye is dragging them away. Bluto notices, and he's shocked. He is shocked. And furthermore, I promises two cans of spinach for every pot. And uh, so Popeye says, and furthermore, I promises. And so here it's kind of like a, a joke because Popeye's grammar is not always good. It should be I promise, but Popeye sometimes speaks incorrectly. So he says, I promises. Two cans of spinach, because Popeye loves spinach, for every pot. Pot, the big thing you cook in, uh, that you make soup in. And this is a reference to politics, uh, a promise, a famous promise, a chicken in every pot. Um, and the men here, they're smoking the cigars that they got from Bluto, but they're watching Popeye. Uh, and let's continue. I promises two cans of spinach for every pot. I promises two cans of spinach for every pot. Here's me past record, folks. Uh, and here's a joke. He says, here's me past record, folks. First, um, me, in, again, he speaks a little bit weird. Instead of my, he says me. Here's me. Here's me past record. A record can be two things. First, it's this. It's a record that you play music on, a vinyl record. But second... Uh, my me past record can mean what I did in the past as a politician, as a person. When you vote for a candidate, 
you look at their past record, what they did in the past, and you make a decision based on their past record. So this is a joke. He pulls out a record and he says, here's me past record. Uh, folks, folks, people. Folks is a way of saying people. So here's a joke. Which speaks for itself. Which speaks for itself. Again, a famous saying, it speaks for itself. It's obvious. Um, everyone can see. Again, it's a joke because a record is music. In this case, it's music. It can speak for itself. Um, and we, uh, yeah, so let's continue. Bluto arrives, or Bluto arrives from the side, from the left side of the screen. You double crosser. He shows up and he says, you double crosser. So, yeah, short for you, yeah, double crosser. To double cross someone is to betray someone to uh, do something bad to someone who trusted you or believed in you if you double cross someone. So a double crosser is a person who double crosses someone. And it looks like Bluto is about to grab something, maybe the record. Steal my voters, will you? Wasn't the record, he grabs he grabs Popeye by his uh, coat, by the, his, maybe lapel, the coat, the lapel of his coat, because they are both, both wearing tuxedos. Tuxedos. Tuxedos are very fancy, nice suits that you wear in, uh, in sp special situations. Maybe a wedding, maybe uh, for politics. It has a top hat, a top hat, uh, a bow tie, a special bow tie, a coat, the black coat, and a dress shirt, here a white shirt. So he grabs Popeye by the lapel, by the coat, and he says, oh, let me remember what he says. Pot. Here's me past record, folks, which speaks for itself. You double crosser, steal my voters, will you? Steal my voters, will you? Okay, so uh, here it's kind of like, it's a, it's a way of saying, so you're going to steal my voters. Um, it's using like a command. Do this, do that, eat dinner. But it uses a command and then um, asks a question. So eat that, will you? which kind of means like, oh, so you're going to do this. Usually you say it when you are going to like punish someone for doing something bad. Uh, you're going to get revenge. So steal my voters, will ya? Will ya means will you. So again, steal my voters, will ya? It's like another way of saying, oh, so you're going to steal my voters. Hmm. So steal my voters, will you? And he raises his fist to, to hit Popeye. He raises his fist to hit Popeye. Uh, and Popeye, his face is red. He's, he's, looks like he's scared. But then we hear the people, the crowd, cheering. They both stop and they both, uh, they notice something. They notice the sound or something else. And they stop, and they both turn their heads and look to the side. Then the camera cuts. Again, remember, it cuts. It changes um, from one image to another. Not movement, just change. The camera cuts to a building. And it looks like we see a huge crowd on a street. A huge crowd on a street. Um, with a yellow car parked in front of a big, big, big building with many windows um, and a sign, uh, a, a crawl, maybe. Well, that's normally on TV, but a sign uh, on the top left, a billboard that says either DCA or OCA, maybe something else, a street lamp. And yeah, let's see what happens.
Okay, so uh, I think I see what what's going on. So the crowd cheers, and we look at the sign. The camera zooms into the sign. It zooms in. It gets closer, and words crawl along the side. They move sign. They move along the sign, and they say votes tied for Popeye and Bluto. Votes tied meaning they have the same vote number of votes. Whoever has the most wins, they have the same number. Popeye and Bluto. No ballot. So a ballot is another word, is a word for your vote. Like there's multiple terms we use with voting. And the piece of paper or the the thing that you actually fill out when you vote, when you choose candidate A or B, you fill out a ballot. A, here's my ballot. A, I vote for A. Or B, I vote for B. That's my ballot. So no ballot yet means no vote, no, no piece of paper or anything else. No ballot yet from Miss Olive Oil. Um, olive Oil is another character like Popeye is a character, Bluto is a character, is another famous character from, uh, from the movie, or from the, the cartoon. Olive Oil is the woman, the love interest of Popeye, the woman that Popeye usually, Popeye, say, uh, like his girlfriend, kind of. Bluto also likes olive oil and always tries to take olive oil. And uh, Popeye always saves olive oil or gets olive oil back. So here we see the joke immediately that olive oil did not vote yet. So uh, I think that's what the rest of the cartoon will be about. We're going to stop there. This one was long already. And uh, we're going to continue in the next one. We still have plenty of cartoon to go. I hope you like this new series. I hope everything works. And um, if you do, again, uh, please, there's some of these are going to be on my Patreon. Um, and there, you can also request things that you would like to see talked about or discussed. Um, and so thank you for watching. I really appreciate and hope to see you again soon.